Hey everyone, how you doing? It's been a while since I posted a video. I'm going to put this uh, Odds and Sods video up to show you something I got in the mail today. Uh, I'm also going to be working on a video this week for the rest of our series on our RCA T62, which is coming along really, really well. I've been really, really busy with work and my band and family and all kinds of stuff, so I haven't really gotten a chance to make a video. But I owe you guys one. I believe we're up to part eight or part nine, and uh, we're getting really, really close. Sorry from that, everything's going good here. Um, just on the tail end of a diet I've been on, lost about 32 pounds, I feel great. Got off of my diabetic medicine, so no more medicine for diabetes. Feeling, feeling really, really good. Uh, really, really good. So that's all working well. And I hope you enjoy this video. I'll see you guys around soon. Take care. We'll see ya. Hey everybody. I got a strange box in the, in the mail today from someone named Hackbar. I don't know who that is, but we're going to open it up and see what it is. So let's do that. Let's open it up. Came all the way from Connecticut, I think. I wonder what who I know in Connecticut by the name of Hackbar. Not sure. Let's find out. Well, whoever Hackbar is, he did a good job packing it. Really good packing in here. That hack bar is pretty good. Looks like the unit is here, whatever it is. It's heavy. It's a box in a box. Anything else in here? I don't think so. This stuff back in here. All right. Here's the other box. Let's see what we got. Get you a little closer. All right. Let's see. We go here like this. What's this here? Is it one of those uh, Mission Impossible tape recorders maybe? Let's see. It's got a nice leather handle. Hmm, doesn't want to come out. Let's see, maybe we need to uh, open up the sides of the box here. We don't want to mess up that leather on the sides. Let's see. What is this? Oh, it's a Bendix radio. Where have we seen that before? See? Interesting. We open up this front. Very nice radio. It's an AC DC set. And it's got uh, let's see, marine, broadcast, and air. Interesting. Well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to pop this up on the bench. I think these little latches open. I remember I've seen something like this somewhere. I think these latches open, and this reveals the chassis. Yeah, there it is. Cool. Whoever packed it did a really good job. All right, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna use this as one of our projects. It's got a little loop antenna here, a trimmable antenna. Got some good packing here. Oh, look a dial string. That's gonna be fun. I love dial strings. All right, so this will be uh, one of our projects. We're going to uh, take this out, put it up on the bench, see what it does. I seem to recall that this thing works in the AM band only and not FM. But uh, I don't know if it has FM. So we're going to have to find that out. 
All right, let's see what we have here. We have it on the bench. We have it open. I haven't taken the chassis out of the case yet. Let's power it up. I know uh, Bill said this thing works in the AM band, broadcast band. So we're going to throw it up on the Variac. Got it up to 115 volts. Let's see what happens. Got to give those tubes a minute to warm up. This is an AC set. There's no transformer. Yeah. Adds up. I, I go back to our conversation we had Thursday and Friday, I think it was, and we said from a personnel... Larry... They're really not weak in a... From Belfort Road all the way out to Hodgins here. Okay. This, this built-in loop here? antenna seems to be doing a good job. Okay. Let's switch to airline band. Let's see what we got. There's no sound at all. So we'll need to check that. Go to air. I'm getting something on that band. I just connected a uh, antenna I have in the house. Could be a shortwave band. I'm not going to pick anything up till nighttime. Okay. Not sure what that is. It says. Filter. Hmm. We have some kind of uh, oscillation happening there. Okay, back to broadcast. All right, so this thing is um, it's partially working, which is good. And, of course, we're working on the AC side. We don't have a battery connected to it. So next thing we're going to do, take it out of the chassis, take it out of the case, take a look underneath, see what's going on. Uh, I do notice there's uh, some asbestos going on here, so we're going to be careful with that. And um, we'll see if we can get some of those other bands working. I do notice here that there's a tunable antenna on this thing. I'm not sure which band it's for. I would imagine it's for um, shortwave band. Um, next uh, odds and sods video and show you what this looks like. Or I may make a series out of this and clean it up and uh, shine up that chassis and make it look good. So I'll let you know. But Bill, the radio guy here, some good hands. We're going to take care of it and I'll keep you updated. Thanks everybody.